What the heck happened right there? My camera just got out of the video. You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Totally. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it. For years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy. And kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. The hell does that even mean? Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Do it and I'll put a bullet in your head. Fuck. Fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. I saw DBA on his shirt or something like that. The road is diagonal. I am the balancing point. Okay, I think this guy went cuckoo. Is he military? Yeah, I think you went coco. Unless you put a safe, uh, another safe. Haha! <laughs> October 13, 2014. Dear Mr. Roosevelt, I'd like to interview you about your recent altercation with government officials over your right to collect rainwater. My understanding is you had applied for a permit but it was overturned, leading to your nights in jail and ongoing court case. 
I'd like to confirm your official, official statements to the court that water is a God-given right and the government stealing our resources out from under us is up to us to defend our individual rights and liberties. <laughs> yeah. Also, did you really tell the judge, yeah, you bet your little lily white ass on in concept of this? Whoa. Please let me know if you go on record. Jeff Boyd, Hope Country Chronicle. Whoa. Easy to use. They'll love it. Yeah, until they kill you with it. Traditional sauce. Wow. <clears throat> Little to Dutch. Dutch powers. April 27, 2015. That. Oh, I got your message. Good to hear they're dropping the charges. Will tracks come out for a part of the summer? Ricky wants to show you how he's writing without training wheels. But Ant's got a lot of work at the college. Got a lot of work at, at the college. I know how much it means to you, so we'll try only. Please lay off the homeschooling talk, okay? It's not right for me or Ant. And the school in South Street is one of the best. And let's keep the prepping activities to a minimum. I know Ricky loves it, but it freaks Ant out. Annie or Ann? Talk to me. Robbie! That was more static than talk. Oh, it even hurt my ears. Uh, I think this is like a bunker of some sort. Why not? If somebody comes at me, I'll shovel them. How many weapons can you carry? I'll pipe them, you know that? You, you know, pipe? <whistles> Clink! Ta -da. Ah, you see, it is some kind of bunker. Probably this is gonna be like some kind of work bench where, work bench where you can customize your guns and stuff. What? Dad, you there? This is Ray Ray. What the hell is going on? We've we've heard a miss of gunshots and I, I swore that went thunder earlier, but but a couple of explosions. Boomers all riled up and won't settle down. Is this more than Peggy's bullshit? How much we gonna stand for? Anyway, call me back when you can. And take care of yourself. <sighs> Local fights to use water. Richard Dutch Roosevelt served two nights in jail for counter report after Contesting his right to collect rainwater in what the state has defined as reservoir. Mr. Roosevelt has operated this rainwater collection without a per proper permit and flagrant violation of Montana laws. 
said the Water Resource Department Deputy Director Edwin Garcia. Measure Roosevelt is contesting the charges. <clears throat> wow, that thing is more green than blue. Bro, you need to clean your fish tank. Anybody? Hello? Good. You found something that fits. I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Oh, thank God. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it, I get it. I got friends to be taken to. Problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's gotta be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're gonna do uh, is get this of of our Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Mm, I wonder what guns he'll give me. Faith, the siren. Don't know how she's related. Seems like she just shows, showed up one day. She'll spin you a sub story, but Faith is a liar and a manipulator. She'll poison your mind with bliss if you give her the chance. Anyone who goes wandering into the Henbane River winds up either dead or walking the path. To become one of those brain dead angels doing all the cults heart labor. Oh, that's harsh. John C. the Baptist, youngest of the Seed brothers and maybe the most Sadistic in charge of recruiting for the cult, marking, cleansing, confession, atonement. Those are the four steps he puts everyone through to become a member of Eden's gate if they survive. John tells everyone to accept the power of yes as a way to get his followers to do whatever the, uh, the F he wants. Great A psychopath. Totally. <laughs> Jacob Seed, the soldier, oldest brother of the Seeds, in charge of training their militia up in the White Tail Mountains. Ooh, that sounds interesting. Only thing he believes in is sacrifice the weak. He seems to be running a few psychological experiments up north. All sorts of nightmare stories about people turning on one another at the drop of a hat. Has been linked to the creation of the monster wolves up north. The cult calls. Judges. Oh, that does not sound good. Joseph C., the father. Leader of the project at Eden Gates, he believes a great collapse is coming and thinks of himself as the modern day Noah. Then thinks God speaks to him, told him to save as many souls as he can. Now that he started the reaping, his fathers are willing to die for him. He had his people build three massive bunkers to protect himself when his prophecy comes true. The guy is an absolute nut job. That it? Why do these guys have like the same name? Oh, it's John Seed. Oh, my bad. I thought it was Joseph. something here
Oh god! Oh, that's way too bright. Man, why couldn't it be at night? I love the darkness, not the sunlight. Now listen up. If you're gonna build a resistance, there's some things you need to know. There's four ways you can go about this. First, you can liberate any hostages the cult's taken. These are good people. We might just fight alongside you if you help them. Oh yeah, I'm totally gonna save them. Second, you can destroy Eden's Gate property that's all over the place now. Hell, they built two goddamn shrines on this island alone. Island? You can tackle resistance missions. There are a lot of folks out there waging their own war against this cult. And they can sure use your help. And last, if you're really looking for a fight, you can take on the cult outposts that have popped up across the county. Liberating those places will give the resistance solid footholds to push back against Dean's Gate. I've got cameras set up all over this island. I'll keep an eye out for anything useful. For now, head south and take out any culture you see. And help any folks in need, would you? Touch out. Well, I'll leave this video here. On that note, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.